Alright guys, you already know we are back at it again, fresh off work, back at it with another Borderlands 3 video, fellas. Today we're going to be looking at a level se the level 72 Monarchs, and these are going to be downright disgusting. What's up, Hebo bitch? Ugly ass son of a bitch, you ugly looking rat bug thingamabobber, what the fuck? Yo, whoa. Hey, big dog. I know you're trying to trying to come at me like you think you have a chance of killing me, but you really don't. You really don't got a shot to killing me. I'm just letting you know right the fuck now. See see how much damage that is? That's gorillas in the mist. That's my monarch. That's my monarch fucking up your entire existence. You you, you go you only hear two, Hemo. I mean Vermi, little bitch. <laughs> oh my god. I get it. You like to shoot your acid, it's all good. I have a pet named Captain Pet. And he's gonna pick me up every time I go down, or I'm gonna kill one of your dirtbag minions. You're such a loser, Hemo. You think you're so tough, but like literally, I'm like King Damage over here. Fuck you. Go back. Go in your immunity phase, bitch. Ouch! I'm flaming into a wall. I'm not a ping pong ball. Okay. Just want to make that very, very clear. Okay. I'm not a ping pong ball. Also, I want to always make this very clear as well. That's gonna leave a mark. Yo, know, I, I got not my circus on. I don't know why. Yeah, like, how are you a target? How do they know where I'm at? That's trash. Loki, that is trash, dude. <laughs> get off of me. Yo, leave me alone. Yo, get off me, you stupid bug. This is, uh, uh, Jesus. Uh. Yo, you know, hold this. Hold all of this. Hold all of that, bitch. Hold all. Be my second win, bitch. <laughs> Jesus! I will say that the Hemo fight does feel like it exploits the Monarch's main weakness, which is its mobility. I will say that. It's definitely what it feels like. Alright. At least there's not two giant bug rat things trying to kill me. So, that's nice. Alright, yeah, you can... Oh, you're burning away. You think you're scared? You're scared? Nah, nah, now you're dead. Now you're dead. There you go. Big flex. Yeah, that's the Monarch, dude. L lots of damage. I will say that the Hemo fight does feel like it kind of exploits its... Uh, main weakness once again which is the mobility but it's obviously one of the, the highest damaging weapons in the game for a reason all right homie so we're now here in the malawan takedown to absolutely thrash all over uh, these enemies and sit them down very casually we are going to meet we we mean business here okay we have the monarch here we have we have the king assault rifle can't beat it i mean okay at this point in the game, the the Monarch is actually a lot more like challenged for its number one spot. Because I'm not going to lie, for a long, long time, I had this thing, number one, uh, like best assault rifle, bar none. You couldn't touch it. With the release and return of things like this level 72 OPQs and OPPs, the goddamn Rowan's Call being an absolute murderous machine on steroids... This thing actually has competition, which is a good thing. I love this gun, don't get me wrong, but it's always nice to change the, up the pace, you know what I'm saying? That being said, there's something to be said for absolutely dicking all over the game with, a t with an 8 pellet goddamn assault rifle. There's just something about it that I, I just find so nice. Later. Monarch! Built different! Obviously the Monarch is built different, everybody knows this. Later, bitch. Later, bitch. And then wherever you are at Valkyrie. Uh, later, bitch! See you later! You're not built for it! King Monarch 72! Let's roll! Here we go! Yo, let's see it! Oh, yeah! Pff, oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, we're at the bridge. Sorry, I was just too busy casually destroying everything without even thinking about it. And, uh, yeah, I got lost in the thought, in the sauce, in the midst of the everything, and I thought I was lost. But we're here. Our monarch, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not even using the damn bipod mode. We don't need to. Not even the badass war dogs can stand up to us. They're not built for it. Hey, you. Later, bitch. You ain't got no friends. You ain't got no friends. Whoa. That was a little bit of lag. Oh, shit. Goddamn, PlayStation. You good, dog? You good on me. Yeah, sit down. Understand who you're stepping to. Obviously, if you want to get your hands on these, 
Uh, we gotta go farm the homie Kilovolt over in the Letra City, not Promethea. But this assault rifle is 1,000% worth it. Not a DLC weapon, just gotta be on Mayhem 6. That's all. Uh, before uh, level six, like before level 72, at level 65, these were sitting at about a solid, solid, like 5K times uh, times four. You could roll times eight, but I, I never wanted to roll times eight because I thought, you know, it already burned through your mag quick as it is, quick as it is when the times four. Heaven forbid a bipod mode of a times eight. Yeah, I'm Gucci with that. So I always roll with the times four. And now these are sitting at roughly like 12k per pellet, which is just absolutely disgusting. Very, very amazing. Also, you know, you gotta give a huge shout out to the homie Borderlands fan or the Joker, you know what I'm saying? Always helping me out getting gear. True, true homie, gotta appreciate him. You already know, you already know. Like, look, look, like, like, just, nope. Raced. Raced. You don't mind to do a Rowan's Call versus Monarch video. I feel like that's actually like 1000% a good idea. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut over to the Wotan Smotan Smackdown. I'll see y'all over there. So, here's the Monarchs that we got. We got the Fire one right here, consecutive hits. I still love consecutive hits regardless, especially on a Monarch. It's gonna stack it up very, very nicely. We've got the Revolter here, built different, stack bot, Pearl. Got the Mytel Center Seeker, Radiation ASC, our nice Stalker Tree, nothing in the trap. Actually, we do have a little bit of uh, agility training because, you know, we will be reloading consistently with this thing. We got the Master Tree here. Very nice that we can go far into here, get things like Barbaric Eop and Pack Tactics with 70 goddamn skill points. <laughs> Obviously, you don't need two fang with the Monarch, so we just go a little bit more second attention. And then there's our nice little Stalker Tree. Just at least want to get a point into Hit a Machine. And yeah, we don't have Rage and Recover, so that's kind of where our health is lacking, our survivability is lacking. Honestly, if I just get my hands on a Mesmere, uh, I'll be bullin', so yeah. Boat's on. Hey, bud. It's me. It's me again. I know. I know how, how you must feel right now. Don't worry. For what it's worth, I'm not even gonna go in the bipod mode until your final phase, okay? So it's all Gucci, it's all good. You know? So, yeah. Don't even worry about it. Go get him, pet. Yeah, go get him. Go, go, go do that thing. Go do the thing you like to do. Yeah, do that thing. Don't, don't kill him, don't do it. Oh, I terribly ruined the timing on that. A real pro would have not wasted over half of his gorillas in the mist before he could even do damage to the Wotan. Absolute noob move. Very bad trash. I'm just kidding. <laughs> guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to drop your load in that like button and subscribe if y'all are new on the road to 10k subs. Y'all try to hit that by the end of the year. So if you like Borderlands 3, like daily content, please do consider subscribing. But with all this stuff facing out the way, guys, my name's Kree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.